Here is a quick overview of the custom GitHub profile page or portfolio that we're going to be making today. This responsive GitHub profile looks good in both dark and light mode. And my advice to achieve that is to choose images and GIFs that look good in both dark and light mode. With that being said, let's jump into generating our readme markdown file. All right. Open Visual Studio Code and create a new README markdown file. Then click on the preview button and that would enable us to see all the changes live. We're gonna have four sections in total and a footer. The first section is gonna have your name, probably a GIF, and a simple paragraph that describes who you are. The second section is for the tools and the programming languages. Here I'm gonna represent the tools and languages as SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, and we're going to add links to these SVGs so that when you click on, on any of them, you're going to be redirected to the website of this specific tool or programming language. The third section is for fetching YouTube videos from your YouTube channel. Now, if you don't have a YouTube channel, this part or this section might be irrelevant to you. So for now, we're just going to mark the section where we're going to fetch the YouTube videos automatically but we're not gonna hard code that. And once we're done with that, we're gonna add the YouTube buttons. And for that, we just need to copy some markdown code from the GitHub repository that you can find in the description box down below. Once you're done with that, don't forget to change your YouTube channel ID. That's the most important thing here. And we're pretty much done for this section. The fourth and last section is for GitHub statistics. Here, we're going to add some stats cards. And the way to do it is just you need to copy and paste some markdown code from the GitHub repository that, that you can find in the description box down below. And you just need to change the username and you're good to go. That's all. It's time now to add the footer. And again, here, we're just going to add some SVGs. Now that we're done with the whole readme file, select everything in this file, copy that because we're going to paste it now in your GitHub uh, repository. Go to your GitHub account and create a new repository that is named after your GitHub username. That's quite important. So the repository has to be named after your GitHub username and has to be public. And of course, don't forget the readme file. After that, select the readme file in the repository that you just created and paste the readme file that you copied before. It's time now to automate fetching the YouTube videos. For that, go to the GitHub repository that you just created and create a new file and then create a new folder named .github. And inside this folder, we're gonna create a subfolder named workflows and inside the workflows subfolder, we're gonna create a YAML file. And here we're gonna copy and paste some code. And again, one more time, you can find the link to this code in the description box down below. So if you wanna make a GitHub profile that is very similar to mine, you can simply visit my GitHub profile and select programming gem repository, then select readme.md. After that, click on raw. There, you can find the whole code. You just need to copy and paste it to your own repository, and you just need to customize it a little bit. Now, if you don't really want to write any code, there is actually an easier way to generate a readme.md file, and that is using a readme markdown file generator. And again, the link to this generator is in the description box down below. There, you just need to fill out some text fields and then click on generate readme file. After that, you just need to copy the generated file and paste it in your repository and you're good to go. That's pretty much it.